What is going on, YouTube? AJ here, doing another Let's Play. Final Fantasy XI Online. Retail. On the Bahamut server. And we're kinda... We're, we're gonna keep on going with uh, Corsair. Um, we are kind of like... Wanting to get back into... No. No, no, no. Stop it. We are kind of wanting to get back into uh, Red and Blue Mage. So I think we're just going to have to uh, suck it up and, and get Corsair to 99. And then we're going to take a break from leveling other classes, I think. Maybe uh, just hardcore do some hours upon hours of ambuscade and we'd like to do some uh we'd like to do some uh we'd like to do some uh monthly those monthly uh quests to get our deeds up monthly quest to get the deeds up and then Next month, I think we should be able to... Get our fully uh, finished ambuscade weapon. The Nagling, Nagling, whatever it's called. All right, let's... I guess we're going to do this while we're here. Oh, that's awesome. Always wanted a giant femur. Okay. Let's... Ooh. Do we not have anything? Oh, no, we do. All right, let's start selling. I have, once again, totally, 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 totally just ignored my Mog uh, Garden. And um, we're doing, we haven't played, did we play on Sunday? It's uh, Wednesday? Or maybe it was Monday we played. I don't remember. Uh, work has been... Everybody loves me talking about work. I know it. Uh, work has been nuts again. I am... Uh, two... I'm in two... Uh, both Monday and Tuesday I worked like 12 and a half hours. I wanted to make a video last night and I sat down. Uh... Uh, I sat down and I'm like, oh, I'm going to make a video. And then I was just like, I'm too tired. I'm just too tired. And I wanted my brain to shut off. Wanted my brain to shut off. Yeah, I don't... We need to work on bone crafting so we get rid of some of this crap in here. Um... Nine more times. I want to do it nine more times. Let's get them all right now. Oh no, stop it.
Okay. That's done. Now let's sell all this garbage. And I need to figure out. I think I need. I think I need all of those ites and the geodes. Like the what is it? Fenrite and the geodes. I think I need those for upgrading stuff. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know anything. I think I need those for upgrading things, but I think I should, you know, like at some point just put them all into a uh I should just put them all into like one of the bank slots. Because they do take a lot of space. Uh, all right, pond dredger. And the reason we are in the Maga Garden to begin with is we did have some, uh, we totally forgot to do the, uh, <laughs> totally forgot to do the, uh, Corsair, um, uh, AF. Shame on you all for not reminding me. I blame you. Um, I don't really blame you. Uh... Yeah, so we don't we don't have AF, but we do have a full set of relics. So we're just going to grab that while we're here. That's the reason we're here. Meteorite would have been a nice one, like 40 episodes ago, something like that. I think we needed that for uh, that one quest. So yesterday, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. It was either yesterday or Monday. I don't think I talked about this. I had this item come up while at work. And I asked somebody, like, it's something that I can't do. It's not like I was asking somebody to do something that I could do when I was just lazy. It's an item that I can't do. Um, and it takes legitimately five minutes. And I'd asked for it to be done on Friday. And it needed to be done. Like, it was time sensitive. It needed to be done. Um, by, like, Monday afternoon. Like, it was just full stop needed to be done by that, that time. Uh, so Monday morning... It needed to be done by, like, Monday afternoon. Monday morning, I'm like, hey, you know, like, just wanted to check in on this. I, I sent this on Friday. Um, any chance you got to take a look at it? I, 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 you know, like, I'm sorry for asking for this, you know, like, last minute, but uh, sometimes that happens. And I get, like, a nasty email back, like, well, you know what? The, the client's, you know, SOL, uh, shit out of luck, um, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay, that's, that's kind of weird. Uh, do I need to trade him the thing? I just did this with, uh, Paladin, I remember. Retrieve an item. Okay. We'll grab that. Grab that. Grab that. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, I, 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 I well, I, I need this. So I, I talked to another person that knows knows what the situation is and I'm like hey you know this takes five minutes and they're just they're just not doing it 
Uh, what do you think I should do? And we talk to a manager, the manager gets it done. And then I get like an email like at five o'clock on on Monday, long after it was gonna be due. Oh, I didn't get a chance to do this. And I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. I got your manager to do it. And I, I let him I let him know that you kind of didn't want to do it. <laughs> and then somebody else was like, oh, they were having a bad day. And I'm like, okay, well, they're having a bad day. What in the world? What in the world? So you're having a bad day. You're going to make basically me have a bad day. You're going to make um, the people that pay us to do stuff for them have a bad day as well. Um, you're gonna you're gonna make everybody else have bad days because you're having a bad day. No, it doesn't work like that. This is not like this isn't like middle school here we're dealing with. Um, okay, quests. Uh, let's unity. It's just insane. Like it was just insane. Oh, AJ, they're having a bad day. Uh, well, I'm sorry about that. You know, like I have bad days just about every day. Um. You, you suck it up, and, and you make sure that everybody else is not having the same bad day as you. Oh, it was nuts. I was furious. It's like, do you really think that, like, does... I, I, I always want to think, like... I talk to you guys, the people watching, more than I talk to, you know, most people about my days. Uh... My girlfriend hears about it, and she I think she just kind of tunes me out because every day it's something. Um, but I, I really think that some people feel like I'm just sitting down while I'm at work doing nothing. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, just do nothing. Because I think that's what other people do. Like, I think other people actually do just sit back and kind of do nothing. And I'm here working my butt off, covering for everybody else, basically. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like, no, I need to get stuff done. Like, I don't stay until, like, last night I stayed until 9. And finally I had to email somebody. Somebody was responding to me. And I'm like, look, it's it's 9 o'clock. I got here at 8 a.m. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to log off. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll talk to you in the morning. <laughs> you know, like... Doesn't seem unreasonable. So, like ten minutes into a uh, a let's play, and I'm uh, already complaining about work, and uh, we've got nothing done. All right, let's roll the dice. And we're going to get some cotton thread, um, a rabbit hide, and um, a crab apron, I'm guessing. No, that's the three things we're going to get today. Okay. Uh, open the box of profit. Special dial. Ah, oh, the Savant Bracers. I don't know what that is. All right, here we go. SP Agabi Key. Apesante. Moldy bolt. All right. So what do we got here?
an Apasante, which is a 97 sword. Cure spell casting, minus 10%. That might not be that bad, huh? Scholar, 87, Savant. I don't even know. We might do Scholar. Twenty K for a moldy bolt. Sure. Fifty K. Sure. Probably could have kept that for core, but who cares? Who cares? All right. Um, so we're gonna try something different today. We are gonna go to. We're gonna go to. Uh, Dangroof Wadi and try to. Try to kill some of those things. Up in there. I don't think we've ever done Dangroof, at least not on recording. I don't think we've ever done a period, though. For a leveling. What am I? 67? Um, is that too low? Wait a minute. I think I looked up 80. Um, yeah, let's go somewhere else first. Maybe we do Dangroof next time. So what are, what is it like? 75? 74? 72, 71, 73. Please! Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Next page. All right. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not shitting on the kid. I really, one day I'm going to go up to him and talk to him. But there's a kid in the neighborhood. And I'm assuming he's like 20 years old. Between 20 and 20, like three. Young, early 20s. And I think he lives with his grandparents. All right, well, since I'm here, I just got... That's good news on an email. Rare good news on an email. Um, He lives with his grandparents. The people that live at the house are, like, in their... Looks to be in their 80s-ish. We'd watch Purveyor now. Um, so, they have a driveway in their front yard. And the driveway has a, like, it's a steep driveway. It's like a 30 degree trying to like picture 30 degrees it's like a 30 degree along 15 feet like the driveway's like 15 feet I'd say and uh, what are we gonna do how about I don't know. Don't need magic skill up on that. I guess we just do. Let's 
So a 30 degree driveway over 15 feet. And this 20 year old kid, I mean, I'm assuming he's, he's 20 years old. The reason I assume is because he's, he looks old. Like I've only seen him once because this, the neighbor is like kind of a catty corner neighbor. Like if I go out my backyard, like if I'm on my back deck, uh, they're not directly behind me. They're like off to the right. Um, and he's never in school. Like right now I hear him. Um, so he might be homeschooled, but I mean, like, again, they, I don't, I don't know what that would be. Like the, but I'm just assuming he's 20. So, with his 30 degree <laughs> driveway over 15, he plays basketball every day in his driveway. Now, the, the odd part about it is when you have a, so the, the, the hoop is on their garage, which is at the top. But there's absolutely no flat portion of this driveway. It's all a, an angle. So if you're four feet away from the basket, I'm assuming that the basket's height is now, you know, 10 and a half, 11 feet. If you're all the way down the driveway and you're shooting like a free throw, I think a free, the free throw line is 15 feet. It's probably about, you know, a 14 foot basket you're trying to make and it's just really odd I don't know why it's, it doesn't bother me and um, <laughs> it doesn't really bother me I'm just confused about it because it's like okay I can see if you were like a 12 year old kid and you're like I have dreams of becoming the next Steph Curry I'm gonna start shooting crazy threes but a 20-year-old kid, I mean, like, I mean, maybe it's exercise? I, I don't know. But then his friend comes over sometimes, and they argue. They argue a lot. Um. Uh, they argue, like, oh my god, that was a foul. Um, so it's just weird. It's like a weird situation that I don't understand. Like, I mean, maybe it's, it, I, I guess I don't understand, like, doing things just... <laughs> maybe I'm doing this just for fun. I don't know. Like, it just, it, it's weird. Like, because there's, in walking distance from my house and his house... There's a park that has a, like a basketball hoop, like a full-size basketball court that's, you know, flat. <laughs> so you don't need to. I know, it's just, that's, that's the weird part to me. I guess if there was no basketball hoops within even, like, walking distance, because I don't think the kid drives. I don't think I've ever seen a car even in the driveway. I don't think anybody in that house drives. Um, maybe too old for it, I don't know. Uh... It's just weird. Like, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what is happening. And again, maybe it's just, you know, it's just doing it for fun. And I guess I'll never find out because I'll, you know, like, I don't want to, like, again, I'm not trying to make fun of the kid. I don't, I just, I don't know if I could just go up to him and be like, why, why are you doing this? <laughs> why are you doing this? Excuse me, sir. I mean, I played basketball. I was, I was not very smart. Um, with my size, like when people like would talk to me, I'd be like, "Oh, you're like, I'm about the size of like a small linebacker in the NFL. Uh, I have a big build, and I'm you know like six one six two. 
But I love basketball so much growing up uh, that I was like, nope, I'm focusing everything on basketball. I wish somebody would have told me there's not there's not a great deal of opportunity for a six foot one, six foot two. Um, at the time, I think I was playing power f forward. My school was really, really small. So, like, I was, like, I was probably, you know, like, one of the 12 people in my class. I think the center of our team was 6'4". Um, and we would play teams that had, like, I was a power forward. And those, they're normally, like, 6'5", six, 6'7". Six, <laughs> like, in the NBA, you could even have them taller. Um... Yeah, I'm just trying to guard these super athletes in my my high school uh, basketball team that are, you know, 6-7. I'm here, you know, boxing out. Guy's just grabbing a rebound over me. But I, I stuck with it. And yeah, I should have uh, should have done another sport because, yeah, nobody's drafting a 6-foot-1 uh, power forward. I had no dribbling skills, so I, I mean, like... There have been six foot one point guards, but that's even considered small. You have to have like extreme like ball handling skills, great shooting. You know. Wasn't me. I wish somebody would have told me a lot earlier. Hey, what did you think about football, hockey? And a. Uh, Kind of a relative story to that. I I grew up. I played some hockey growing up, but we didn't have a hockey high school hockey team. I normally just played, you know, like like pond hockey or um, they were like there were like not leagues, but um, uh, kind of club teams. I played a little bit of that, and I loved hockey. Uh, I really do wish that we had a, a high school team. I would have definitely joined that. But I grew up, when I grew up, I always was thinking that, like, and maybe it was a, it's a different game, like, nowadays than it was back, because I don't follow hockey all that much right now. Um, maybe it's a different game. Because I always thought of hockey players being, like, Six foot four, six foot five, and I went to this party, and I'll I'll tell the story more in depth uh, at another time. Uh, <laughs> but I went to this house party, uh, and it was it was a friend of a friend, and it was like it was supposed to be like a VIP party. Um, and I went to two of them. One of them I saw an NFL player, an ex NFL player, but like a superstar. So it was like, okay, yeah, I can understand why this is, you know, like there was a there was a guy at the door of this house that was like security. Um and if you know if you know me in real life, you're like there's no way I'm getting in here. <laughs> no way I'm getting in that party, but I did. A uh, friend of a friend. Yeah, that that friend uh I knew. I was like, he he got a lot more connections than I thought. Anyway, uh walking down the hallway of this house party, and I'm a little bit tipsy, and I, I I knock shoulders with a guy that was a little bit smaller than me, and uh, you know, like I was polite about it. I oh sorry, I didn't see you. Um, and it was like a group of people coming down the hallway, and none of they were they were polite too. They were like, oh no, it's cool, man, don't worry about it. Um, but they were all tiny compared to me, and. My buddy goes, hey, did you know that those people are professional hockey players? Like, they were, they play for a professional hockey team. And I'm like, they're so small. He's like, yeah, I think the game's gotten, you know, smaller and faster than it was when you were watching it, you know, in the, the 90s where people were just, like, huge brutes. Um, but, yeah, I was like, wow. At least they were nice about it. I'm sure that they would have, if they were dicks, they probably would have just group kicked my ass. Uh, but yeah, that was weird. Like, they were like 5'8", like, <laughs> like the group of them. Yeah, professional hockey team that plays professional hockey. Alright, let's get an XP band back up. 
Uh, yeah, I was pretty good. I was pretty good at hockey. I wasn't. I wasn't I, you know, better than average. I'd, I'd say, but not a lot of people played it. Because again, we didn't have a high school team. Not a lot of. I don't think any of that. Like, and we were we were on the East Coast, which is kind of odd, you know. I don't know how much. Oh my God! Did I just do a warp ring? <laughs> oh, I'm talking too much. Yeah, I would have. I would have uh, enjoyed playing hockey. Oh boy, that's embarrassing. It's like the second time I've done that, huh? Well, you know, we could use a refresh on our. Um, Trust. We've gained some uh, levels, so I guess that's a. Uh... How many of you were watching me do that and saying no? <laughs> Thought I was Empress Band. But uh, yeah, we played we played um, ice hockey in the winter, and then you know, like in the fall, we do a uh, we do uh, street hockey, which was very popular in on the East Coast. That was like. When clerks came out, you're like, hey, we do that. Well, not on top of a convenience store, but that's how we play. Um, I'm sure my parents preferred me not playing, not because of my safety, but because that uh, hockey's an expensive sport. Like, all that shit is expensive. Pads and skates and then inline skates. Gloves. Gloves were expensive. Sticks. It was an expensive, expensive sport. I'm sure they definitely preferred me pretending to be a NBA star. Oh. Here's a $25 basketball and some mesh shorts. Go have fun, you idiot. <laughs> okay. Uh... Maybe tens and two? These are birds? It's probably like the third time anybody's ever. Uh, anybody has ever cast tens and two. Seventy-one was the uh. All right. Who's, somebody's calling me. Oh yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna talk to that person. I'm on break, fool. up now. Go get him, Voing or all. Stop running around like an idiot. Tenzin, Tenzin's ranged attack misses. Tenzin's ranged attack misses. Oh, 148.
At what point is my... Where, where is my dagger? My dagger is still capped. news too low for these, huh? Should probably just get rid of Tenzin too, that's right. After this one, we get rid of Tenzin. Tenzin, you stink. Now Tenzin is going to hit every single hit. staring at my emails and they're all bad. They're just all bad. Leave me alone. Cannot wait for my vacation. We're definitely going to rent a cabin, so there's going to be a couple of days where I am not making recordings. Maybe I uh, the weekend before I try to do a, uh, a bunch. I think I could schedule them. I think I can schedule them that way. That way I can not feel like I'm missing too many days. But, uh, yeah, what we're... What we're planning is a, uh... And it's nice because we're, we're out in the... We're kind of out in the country already. Um, and the place that we used to go... Uh, we used to live a half hour north of where the country is. It would take us two hours to get to where we would go. Um, or an hour and a half. And now it's only going to take an hour because we're already kind of in the country. But it's uh, basically uh, rent cabins and uh, these are places where there's no cell service and... Uh, Short shorts, huh? Uh, there's no cell service. Uh, one of the one of the uh, things I like to tell people is when we go down there, there's a there's a point, and we've I think we've now we've we've gone down in we've gone down in the fall, the late fall, and we've gone down in the uh, summer. Uh, there's a point in time where the sun goes down. The sun goes down and the moon kind of brightens up the sky where you can't see your hand in front of your face from like four inches away. It is because there's just like no light pollution. 
Uh, and it's amazing because you don't even realize how much... You don't even realize how much light pollution there there is in your life <laughs> until you go out someplace like this. You're like, oh my god. Uh, like a street light, a street light that's like thirty yards away from your house helps you see, you know, five feet in front of you. Uh, here, there's just no street lights, just. Nothing but, you know, woods and farms and... It's nice... For me, that's that's relaxing. For me, that's... Uh, give me that rather than a... Uh, my God, let's go to Miami Beach. No, thank you. Give me a place where... Um, a lot of them don't have Wi-Fi. Some of them do. Uh, I don't mind when there's Wi-Fi because you, you can check your phone, but there's your phone will never ring or... Um, the first time we went out there, I was sending texts to people and like they weren't responding. So I was kind of sending uh, a couple more texts without realizing, oh, there's just zero cell service out here. Um, and then as we're driving back home, people are like, why did you just send me seven texts in a row? And they're all like different. <laughs> oh. Didn't go through. We do a couple of days of that with the kid and the, the puppy and the big dog. But I do have to remember that uh, we just ran out of their uh, flea and tick medicine. And that's always fun to buy. Uh, definitely want that before we go out. Sleep on the job. You are but a meme? Is that what he says? Tenzin? Ephemeral? Fleeting? Fading? You are but a meme. And I watched, I, I mentioned this, I think I mentioned this on an ESO video. Maybe it was on one of these. Where, uh, well, I, I, I it's no sort of shock that I'm now addicted to, uh, I'm now addicted to, uh, Steam sales. Anything on Steam that's on sale that I'm like, oh, that looks cool, let me buy it. Um, I watched a, uh, I had questioned if anybody had ever played, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, because that's on sale for $4.79, I believe. And, 72, uh, uh, any, any fantasy RPG I'm down for, I mean, if it's good. Yeah, I watched some I watched some gameplay and some reviews and I was like, okay, four dollars and seventy nine cents. We're we're buying that. Now it's gonna make I think that's gonna make like I think I have 
at least 30 games that I have not touched. <laughs> I think I have about 30 games that I've just not touched. No warp ring this time. So yeah, I'll buy that today. Four dollars and seventy nine cents. If it's if you get again, like the the way I look at it is, it's an RPG. You're gonna you're gonna get a ton of hours out of it, depending on you know like depending on the RPG. I have no idea. I mean, like you could speed run any RPG if you want, but I'm trying to think back on. So I'm trying to think back on my, you know, the Final Fantasy games of the PlayStation, PlayStation 2. I would play those for like 30 some odd hours, 30 to 40 hours, uh, because I did, I did like to explore. I'd like to be like sort of a completionist when I could be. Like I, I never got like everything in the game, but um, even back then I was a grinder. Like I would, you know stick in a, like a, a certain area and uh, grind mobs to level up so the next area would be easier. I never had a problem with that. Where'd the other one go? Two. Was that seventy four? Enhances a random deal. I just think that the relic and the AF look really good on the Corsair on a Mithra, particularly. Run through this ish. Oh, shit. Pardon my language. Shoot. Shoot him with a joyous. Joyous. Let's get rid of. Don't be needing you anymore. I don't even know. Maybe we just burn through. Maybe we just burn through and uh, do beast next, and get rid of all of our low level. Our low level melee gear. And then we should do uh, AF tail for this Corsair job as well. Some point. Almonds.
Yeah, I don't think I've took a... I don't think I've taken a... Like, a traditional kind of vacation in a long, long, long time. Probably not in my adult life. Like, it's not something that somebody would think of as a vacation. And I mean, with the kid, I, I anticipate doing... I do anticipate doing stuff like uh, Disney World or whatever. Okay, what is this? Strength plus three, accuracy. Yeah, sure. Looks cool too. But yeah, I haven't been, like, I don't think I've left a state to visit another state, even when I was on the East Coast, even when I was um, in the middle of the country and where I am now. I don't think I've ever really, like, as an adult, I don't know, doesn't, doesn't super appeal to me. Most of the uh, vacations I've taken as a, an adult have been like, okay, well, I could get uh, this housework done. I could paint that room or try to fix that thing. Oh, jeez. That, what do you call it, went through pretty damn fast. Let's see if we can't get to 75. That'd be nice. Be nice to get to 75 so we can get a a fancy hat on. Who doesn't like a fancy hat? All right, enhances dual wield. Sure. Yeah, we should be able to get that. Should be able to get that. I don't know, it always just seems like a hassle. Like, I mean, maybe if you had two weeks vacation... Like, if you had two weeks vac- like, for a week, like, hey, I'm leaving on Saturday and I'm coming back on Friday. I don't know. It's- it's the- the age-old you need a vacation from your vacation. And I don't- another thing about it is that, like, when you think about just the sheer amount of money you're spending, and you're like, oh, I'm spending it to... You know, create wonderful memories with my family. It's like, eh. Memories are fleeting. <laughs> like... Like, I'm just not looking. I've, I've, I've seen a lot of different... Um, I've seen, like, trust me, I've seen a, a huge amount of... Uh, my dagger is still capped. Wow. Uh, I've seen a huge amount of like disparity between like how much people are doing for a uh, Disney vacation. Like some people are like, "Oh, it's three thousand. Oh, it's four thousand. Oh, it's ten thousand. Oh, it's twelve thousand. You know, like I don't know. Like I mean, you, if you have a kid, I think that you know, like if you have the kid and you have the means, I think you got to do it. Like I have a savings account set up basically for that. Um, that I'd throw, like, you know, a couple of bucks here and there whenever I can, and I don't tell anybody about it. It's a secret. Don't tell my girlfriend that I have a secret savings account. But it's at least, it's there for, legitimately, Disney World. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to go to Disney World at some point. It's going to be between three and 12,000. That way it doesn't hurt so much when, uh, when you go. 
No, I mean like, but if uh, like five thousand dollars for you know a week at uh, a beach, that uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like. It doesn't seem like I don't know. To me, I mean like I, if, I'm I'm I know that I'm strange. Yeah, we're only gonna go to the we're only gonna go to the cabin for a couple of days, and I like again we're going to cabin for a couple of days. It's driving distance, and um, like we won't even have to like if we fill our tanks, um, gas tanks, we could get there and back on 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 the one, and still have probably a quarter or a half tank left. So. That's that, and it's probably, I think, like, anywhere between, like, all the cabins. The cabins are, they vary a lot. It's between, you know, 175 to, like, 350 a night. A um, couple nights, and I prefer the ones that are, like, 175. I don't need, like, again, my girlfriend is, like, helping, like, I, I kind of put her in charge of looking, and she's, like, Look at how fancy this one is inside. I'm like, how much time are we gonna spend inside? You know, like, give me my the, my favorite part of the last cabin we got was a uh, screened-in porch. Um, get me a book. You know, get get me a book. I'll read a book on a porch uh, and enjoy the the breeze. Uh, at night, you know, like, spend some time in the sun, spend some time in the woods, uh, at night build a fire. Like, I don't need to be inside. I need to be inside sleeping. That's all I need to be inside for. And yeah, the, the $350 a night ones are the ones that are like, oh my god, this is rustic charm and appeal and, uh, on the interior. It's like, no, I don't care. I really don't care. The one that we went to, the first one we went to, um, was legitimately one room. Uh, it just had kind of, uh, kind of false walls, I guess it would be. You know, like just, just, uh, like just like standing. Like, sheets of wood that would separate the bedroom and the living room. Uh, and even the bathroom. Like, the the walls didn't even touch the ceiling. They were just kind of planted there, almost. And that was fine. That's all. We didn't need anything more. There we go. Look at us. We look super cool, don't we? I think that's going to be it. Uh, everybody's yelling at me in my, uh, in my work inbox. Oh, we should have killed three more. Whatever. So we got, what, 67 to 75? Oof. It's already starting to get pretty bad, huh? Well, not bad. 75. Oh my gosh, I never even noticed that. What is that, our bra top coming through? <laughs> never noticed that. But yeah, cool. Corsair. Fun. Fun now that we have uh, the joy toy and the uh, relic armor. Getting a little bit more into it. Uh, maybe we should get some more dice and uh, or die and uh, look at our abilities. We don't even look at our abilities. Random deal, quick draw, same old. All right, well, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Until next time, take care, folks. Thanks, bye.